I uh, went down and uh, started down on these platforms or boardwalks, uh, pontoons, but they're walkways over to the right here. I don't think we're going to go there to start today. Really, what I'd like to start is with some uh, train spotting. Jersey Transit line here, and what you might be able to see also is uh, stand up, turn around the back. There's the tracks, but headed back west, and then of course straight ahead is the uh, World Trade Center. tracks. So let me see what I'm going to do because I still have a little bit of time. Try to warm up a little bit. About 15 minutes, roughly. If I can get a train in. It'll be starting to rain. I think you can feel drops here and there. Give some heavy rain later on. It was rain or mist last year. Here's another access road. No entrance there. It'd be cool to try to get in there. Go down a little further. And I think just go up and wait for five or ten minutes. There are some bicyclists here. Friendly or unfriendly. This is kind of a good sort of bike uh, to have. <laughs> the gearing is not right for me. It's just too high geared. Have the chest pro. Yep. It's hard to tell it with the chest mount, but I think I'm pretty well set to take a good shot. And this is a New Jersey Transit commuter train. I love train spotting. I've done quite a bit of photography of trains here and elsewhere. Um, but this, I think, is a pretty cool way to do the video part of it. Uh, you do great stuff with a video uh, when you bicycle around. Very cool. Let's go so north. Again, transportation today is the uh, 29 plus bike. That, that kickstand is very useful. I think this would be a very useful bike in an urban or you know this kind of setting that I'm in now. Gearing is really for me way too high. I really prefer. 2x10 or even a 2x11 which are coming out now. Wind is picking up and the air is very moist. Here's the observatory. And it uh, looks like a repeat of last week, but I think the rain here is not going to be kind of a heavy mist rain. It's going to be a heavy rain within an hour or two. Uh, that'd be interesting video, but I'm not so sure when it gets sopping wet. You can climb back in the truck and get that sopping wet in the salt marsh here. You might be able to see cars. The elevation is a part of the turnpike. The World Trade Center is straight ahead. Um, over this way, the very, very tall uh, condo building. Empire State Building is straight ahead, but you should be able to see a salt marsh Heron, you can't see it. It is not more than 15, 20 yards away. Where you get? I just got bitten by something. I'm like, wow, that was bad. Sucking 
something out of me. I do have woods off on, but I usually wear long sleeve shirts and gloves. With there's a reason for that. They're not real hot. I'm being bitten all over the place. Holy no! But uh, I have deep woods off. Sprayed here and there, but it doesn't seem to be keeping too many of the insects away. And I rode down this uh, road just the other week. But what I am going to do, uh, I don't know. I really don't know that I had the video, the, rather the GoPro. I think that just might have had uh, at that point the, the point shoot. And I taped some took footage of some birds and structures to the left. But I don't think I went all the way down to the end of this little road. So I'll do that. See another egret or heron. Uh, last week when I was here. I don't think I did anyway. the end of June, last weekend, in June of 2015, very earliest summer, we have a ultra-modern bell tower and they have, uh, I think it's recorded stuff, but sounds great, I'm being eaten by insects, one of the lower cassettes, but Places. And this is an odd place. There's all these hillocks or mounds, shoot, big mounds are garbage. And that might be part of the mechanisms for any gases that come out from those, from all the garbage decomposing. And who knows, that might have been some of the materials they used shore up some of those mounds. I'm not sure. Just guessing. Last time <clears throat> I just came back in, back on the little trail. See the trail. And uh, this time let me go out on the road a little bit. one. Maybe that was 11.40. So let's try. We'll come back as we get closer. Oh, I think I missed near the train, so I missed the westbound train. I'm head back. It's got a fence down there. I don't know if you can see it, that small bird, huh, man? 
Beautiful. You run it, it's not taking off. <laughs> nah. I don't think that goes right back where I want it to. Yeah. First time I've been in all the high gear, front and rear. I'm going downhill. You have the opposite, you have the advantage of the weight. Twenty-one miles an hour, not even pedaling on the path. Just got back on it. Yeah, I hear the railroad train. I might be able to pick it up, I'm not sure. So, I missed that one. Well, there could be another one going back east fairly soon. I'm not sure. I think it's very pretty. Yeah, I'm still on. Yeah, I've gone out there in previous years and done photography. Taking some shots. I know they're open. Probably walking tours or I'm gonna sit down there and give a lecture. Where I parked. The coolest thing is going out on those walkways right over the marsh. The marshes. And uh, definitely on its way to a major downpour. Let's see if I can take it from another angle this time. It's such a cool shot if it comes out. Because the, my GoPro doesn't have the, uh, the LCD to view what you're taking. Boy, is that train quiet until it's right up on top of you. Quiet.